The purpose of this video is to introduce and demonstrate a novel technique for assuring proper positioning of central venous catheters. The standard method for confirming the position of a central venous catheter is to obtain a chest radiograph after placement of the catheter. Visualization of the catheter on the radiograph is a good indicator of its position. And at many institutions, the line cannot be used until after the placement is confirmed by the chest radiograph. The ideal position is in the superior vena cava, just above the heart. However, it is not uncommon for the tip of the catheter to end up in the jugular vein, or as you can see here, in the subclavian vein, heading down the right arm. And even when lines are placed with ultrasound guidance, the catheter can end up in an artery, as happened in this case. To avoid these complications and allow immediate use of the central venous catheter, we suggest visualizing the central venous catheter guide wire in the inferior vena cava before placement of the dilator or the catheter. This technique requires a second operator to visualize the inferior vena cava during the central line placement. The second operator obtains a sub-xiphoid view of the inferior vena cava to visualize the guide wire as it passes through the right atrium and into the inferior vena cava. This guarantees that the wire is in a vein and that the catheter will end up in the central circulation, not directed towards the head or the arm. This slide demonstrates the technique. The first operator is at the head of the bed, placing a central line using standard ultrasound guidance by visualizing the finder needle as it enters the jugular vein. The second operator is standing on the patient's right with a probe on the patient's abdomen. This is done under the sterile drape. It is important to be sure that you know how to identify the inferior vena cava. Don't confuse it with the aorta. Standing to the right of the patient, place the ultrasound probe parallel to the inferior vena cava and use the left lobe of the liver as a window to visualize the inferior vena cava. This movie shows first the aorta, then the inferior vena cava as the operator tilts her hand towards the liver. Unlike the aorta, the inferior vena cava leads directly into the heart, which you can see moving here. Here is the right atrium. Here is the vena cava. And here you can see intrahepatic veins draining into the inferior vena cava. Most importantly, you know it's the inferior vena cava because it's draining directly into the heart. When you're sure you've got the inferior vena cava in view, ask the first operator to advance the wire. If the wire is in the central circulation, you will see it pass out of the right atrium into the inferior vena cava every time. Here you can see the wire moving. Now, the first operator can safely proceed with dilation and cannulation of the internal jugular vein. Insert the catheter to the depth you would normally use, depending on the gender and height of the person. That catheter is now ready to use. A chest x-ray can be done later on to check for pneumothorax and to ensure that you are at the appropriate depth. This technique can be used to ensure central placement of femoral lines as well. Here you can see the guide wire entering the IVC from below.